Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. I know my channel has been a little quiet lately. I have been working on some projects that will be coming out very soon. But I decided I'd make a card using Queen & Company's Winter Wonderland Kit. Now this is a winter or Christmas themed kit as you can see from the picture. The kit is designed to create snow globes. So there's three different sizes of the snow globes and lots of fun die images. There's a stamp set and also lots of great shaker toppings. I believe there's also a paper pad that's included. Toward the end of last year, I did share a video using this kit, but for this card, I decided to make a patriotic card. So this will not be a winter or Christmas card. I'll be using Doodlebug Designs Land That I Love 6x6 paper pad. I always purchase multiple patriotic papers when they come out since I do like to use them year round. I'll also be using a Queen & Company sketch. Now their sketches are designed to coordinate with their foundation dies which are so fun and I use them all the time. I used a scalloped rectangle die to cut out this background piece that has confetti. I did put ATG on the back, but as you can see, the edge warps slightly. I believe it's from that faux stitched detail on the die. So I just add a layer of liquid adhesive along with that ATG just to make sure it's gonna lay down flat. So I layered this on some blue cardstock. Then I'll be layering it again on this red pattern paper that has the grid line in the background. And this is from Doodlebug's Petite Prints that coordinate with the Land That I Love collection. I believe Doodlebug released this collection last year, but it is still available. I will have links provided in the description box for all the products used in this video. I did need to trim a little bit off of that red pattern paper. Then I'll put ATG tape on the back and adhere this piece onto a white card base. Now I can start working on the shaker snow globe. And for this card, I'll be using the very round snow globe. I have several different pieces already cut out to assemble this snow globe. So I have the pattern paper for the background and I use the outline die to cut that piece out. I have some solid blue cardstock for the frame that'll go on the front. All of the foam pieces in Queen & Company's kits have double adhesive, so there's adhesive on each side. You just have to remove the paper backing. I adhere the outline die cut first, and now I have quite a variety of shaker toppings I'll be inserting. But first, I wanna add an image on the inside as well. I'm using some of the cardstock icon stickers from the Land That I Love collection. Thought about using the firework, but decided to use the little hot air balloon instead. Now I know the basket really blends into the background, but that's okay, it'll have shaker toppings toward the bottom anyway. Now even though it is a sticker, I am adding some liquid adhesive. Wanna make sure it's going to stay in place and not pop off later when everything is all sealed inside that snow globe. For shaker toppings, I'm using red, white, and blue stars. And I believe this was from Queen & Company's Summer Celebration Kit. And then I also have some of these glitter discs. I have them in red and also silver, and those are included in the Winter Wonderland Kit. So I'm trying to mostly use patriotic colors. I think the silver still works though, and it adds that extra sparkle. Since I do have that sticker image on the inside, I don't wanna add too many shaker toppings so it'll cover the image. I'm also adding some of these navy blue pearlies. Gives it more of that shaker feel with that solid little circle ball on the inside. So once all the shaker toppings are in place, I remove the other side of the release paper on the foam and then attach the pre-cut acetate that's included in the kit. Put liquid adhesive on the back of this blue cardstock frame. You can see I didn't cut it all the way to the bottom. My blue cardstock was almost out, but that's okay. I'm gonna cover this part up anyway. There's also the die included to cut out the very base of the snow globe. So I used some silver mirror cardstock for that. I'm adding my acrylic block on top for that extra weight while the glue dries. So there's my shaker all assembled. I love the patriotic colors. 
Using some more of the pattern paper, so stripe paper, I'll add it to the bottom of the card. And I did put some double-sided tape on the back to adhere it in place. So it's trying to make sure to get it nice and straight. Then I'll put liquid adhesive on the back of the snow globe and adhere it onto the card. So once it's straight, again, I'll put that acrylic block on top to let it dry. And I did let it dry longer than those few seconds. For this sentiment, I'm using one of the ephemera pieces. This is from their Odds and Ends collection by Doodlebug. I like the sentiment, land that I love. And I think using the red sentiment, it really ties in with that background layer. For the little banner dies that go in the upper left-hand corner, decided not to use the foundation dies, and instead I'll use this little pennant sticker that's included on the icon sticker sheet. So I trimmed it down to four of the little flags. I'm gonna pop them up with some thin foam squares. Since there's already extra dimension from the shaker, it doesn't hurt to have a little extra dimension on some of the other elements on the card. I'll remove the release paper, then adhere it to that upper left-hand corner. And four flags turned out to be too many, so I am gonna trim off one of the flags. I tried to reposition it to see if I could fit that fourth flag, but it just didn't fit. I'm still trying one more time and now I'm gonna take off that red flag. And I think having the three seems to balance it out better anyway. For an additional sentiment, I'll add one of the icon stickers, the USA. I'll add it to the lower right-hand side on that snow globe. And even though it's a sticker, I will still add some liquid adhesive just to make sure it won't pop off later. Then I considered adding a couple of the star stickers as well. They just didn't look quite right though, so I left those off. And I was gonna call this card finish, but then after it sat there for a moment, I decided to use some Love From Lizzie peel off stickers. These are the mini stars in the silver glitter color. So there's three different sizes of the stars. I was starting off with the medium. I'll put three of them to the left of that USA sentiment. I think it balances out the base of the snow globe. And it adds just a little more sparkle. Then I'll also use some of the smallest stars. These are really tiny. I'll put one on either side of the sentiment at the bottom of the card. Then I'll also add some of the medium stars on each of the flag in that upper left-hand corner. It never hurts to have some extra sparkle. And using tweezers really helps in placing these tiny stickers. And there is my finished card. I love how this turned out. Patriotic colors are some of my favorites for cards. I could use them all year round. So I've even used them for Christmas cards before. I will have links provided in the description box if you are interested in any of the products I used in this video. And I've been getting quite a few requests about 6x6 videos. I will have one coming out very soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.